Hi everyone, my name is Robert McKnight and I'm the product manager for Seatherm's TC Kit. Today I want to take you through everything that's included in the kit, show you how easy it is to set up, and also run some tests using the instrument. But first, let's take a look at what's in the box. First, we have what we call the flex sensor. This sensor uses a transient plane source method of measuring thermal conductivity. What that means is that this sensor is placed between two flat samples of the same material, a constant heat flux is applied, and the temperature is measured over time. With this instrument, users are able to measure conductivity in the range of 0.03 to 60 watts per meter Kelvin, and in temperatures from 10 to 80 degrees Celsius. And at the other end, we have a four-prong plug, which is used to connect to the suggested series of source measure units. Next we have stainless steel 304 reference samples which are included in the kit. Now these are included as they have a well characterized thermal conductivity value and are used to validate the sensor's performance. We also have a C-Therm branded USB key and this USB key contains Tekis branded software, a user manual for the TC kit and a step-by-step -step guide to connect your source measure unit. Lastly, what's included is an RS-232 to USB serial communication cable. Now this is used to connect your source measure unit to your PC. So now that we know everything that's included in the kit, I'm also gonna take you through what's not included in the kit. Now first, you're gonna be needing a PC running Windows 10, either Home or Pro Edition. And you're also gonna be needing a source measure unit, and we suggest the Keithley 2400 series. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm gonna be using the Keithley 2401. When setting up the kit, you're first going to wanna to plug the power into your source measure unit and turn it on. And then you're gonna to wanna to take your RS-232 to USB serial communication cable, plug the RS-232 end into the back of your source measure unit, and plug the USB end into a USB port on your PC. Next, you're gonna to wanna to take the included USB key, plug that into your PC, and carefully follow the instructions meant to configure communication for your source measure units to interface with the software. Without this step, the software will not recognize your source measure unit. Next, you're gonna to wanna to plug the sensor into your source measure unit using the four prong plug, ensuring that the TC kit is labeled side up. Then place the sensor between your two reference samples in the center and placing them together. Okay, so now that we're in the software, you're gonna select your sensor, which is the flex sensor. You're gonna come over here to material type and select your metal alloy reference material, which gives you a preset power level and test length. Power level is 3.10 watts, test length being 10 seconds. And then all you have to do is click start test. Now, as you see, you're getting uh, a trending value, which is gonna be approximately 14.6 watts per meter Kelvin, as the stainless steel reference material has that value well characterized. Now you can see here the results are reading 14.3, which is well within the spec of 5% of the known value or 5% of the accuracy from 14.6. All right, thanks for joining me today. If you want, you can check us out online at www.ctherm.com. Send us an email at info at ctherm.com or check out the TC Kit product homepage at www.thermalconductivitykit.com. Thanks and have a great day.